We are gathered here today to discuss lips. I have got to cut this collection in half. The majority of these are nude lips and I was only going to do nudes, but I don't have that many that aren't nude, so I'm going to add them in at the end. So we need to cut this collection in half. If you need some new nudes in your life, you've come to the right place because, girl, I got the best nudes in town. <laughs> I got the best nudes in town. All right, we're gonna start here. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. This is, we're gonna be here for a while. So these guys here, I just had in this little lipstick holder. I change this out like once a month. I'll just kind of go through my collection, put some in, use them for like a month and then swap them all out. It keeps me from using the same lip products over and over even though I still kind of do that. So that's why they're just kind of randomly sitting there. Now in here, these are all of my like balmy, glossy, tinted balm kind of things, which is my favorite thing to wear pretty much all that I wear. So we're gonna start here. Okay, let's start with Chanel. These are some of my favorites. So Chanel Boy is the one that I wear most. She's a Rouge Coco Flash. The other two square ones are Rouge Coco Shines. Chanel Boy is just, I don't know if you can see that that good. She's so perfect. Just everything about her is perfect. The formula, the color, they're not like sticky or too thick. Sometimes tinted, not even tinted balms, but like the very glossy balmy lips can have like a thick formula that's just uncomfortable. In Time is another amazing one. Let me swatch all of them and then I'll come closer to the camera because I don't know how well you're going to be able to see them. Uh, Secret is also really, really pretty. Like, I love all of them. And I feel like I need more, <laughs> but I don't. And then this one, this little round guy, is a Le Beige. This is number 10. She's more peachy. So Boy is on top, and then In Time... Secret and Le Beige number 10. They are just so good. You can't go wrong with Chanel. I know they're pricier, but you're getting like such good quality. The colors are just amazing. They're not too pigmented, but you still get color. Just incredible. A really good drugstore option though. Uh, these ones from L'Oreal, Color Riche Shine. Glossy Fawn's really pretty, but Dazzling Doe is my fave. So there's Glossy Fawn. Now these are a little bit more pigmented, as you can see. Uh, Dazzling Doe is the one, though. This is like a cool, like, neutral nude. This is my second one. I just started this one. Look at that freaking color. Are you kidding me? Look at that color. Oh, my gold. So good. But if you want something a little bit warmer, Glossy Fawn is really, really pretty. But Dazzling Doe is the one that I always wear. Oh, I love them. Now, the formula on these is a little bit thicker on the lip, but it's not too thick. Like, these are a really, really, really good drugstore option, or just option in general. So good. And the packaging is just adorable. Did I put that lid on right? Yeah. I love this Guerlain one, 015, but I don't think they make this anymore, which is so sad because it's just so beautiful. The color is perfect. The formula is just, oh, love them. Uh, NARS Cruising. This is my third one. I bought three of them at one time. I don't even know if they make this anymore, to be honest. My packaging has gotten gummy because I wear this like constantly. This gives you like supermodel lips. You know when you see a freaking supermodel on TV and they like they photograph them like coming out of the grocery store and they have these perfect like juicy plump perfectly nude lips. This is NARS Cruising. It's perfect. It has a hint of pink to it but it's still nude. It is the most gorgeous product. I love it so much. Top five all time. A few that I'm not that fond of. 
I don't know how this lip balm got in here, but that's okay. Um, this e.l.f. Sheer Slick Golden Pear. I think the formula is really nice on this, but I'm not a big fan of this color. It's just a little bit too pigmented for me. Like if I'm wearing a glossy balm, I want it to be like really soft. So I think if I had this in a different shade, I would really like it because I do think the formula is good. I'm just not a big fan of the color. So I'm going to get rid of it. And then this shouldn't even really be in here, but it is. So I'm just going to swatch it. LA Girl Lip Mousse in Low Key. I'm just not a big fan of a lip mousse, but if you are, it's nice. Like there's nothing bad to say about it. I'm just not a lip mousse kind of girl. And that color is just not, not my fave. Uh, this Milani Tinted Balm in Stay Peachy. I'm just not a peachy lip kind of girl, so I don't ever wear this. Even though it is like a soft, it's not super pigmented. Uh, the formula on these are really nice. I just wish I had this in like a nude color because <laughs> I don't have enough nudes. Um, and then this Fenty one. I was so excited about this. Oh, what is it called? Slip Shine in Makeout Break. I have a feeling the color is what I'm not liking on this. I think if I had a darker shade that I would actually like it. But you know sometimes with a very, very light nude, it can kind of make the formula appear worse than it is. There's something about a really light nude that can really affect the formula, if that makes any sense. I know some of you know what I'm talking about. So, like, when I swatch this, I think it looks really pretty, but when I try to put this on my lips, it's very bunchy, it's very uneven, it gets, like, thicker in spots. The formula just does not work with this color. But I do have a feeling if I had this in a darker shade, I would feel totally different about it. Some of you are confused, but some of you get what I'm saying. And then this Burt's Bees Tinted Lip Balm in Zinnia. I don't know, there was just something about this that I didn't like. It wasn't hydrating enough. It almost kind of just like sat on top of your lips rather than like sinking in and moisturizing. So I did not like that. And also this Burt's Bees Lip Shimmer in Caramel. I would like this if the formula was not super minty and tingly. Like when I put a lip balm on, I don't want the mint tingle. I'm not a fan of tingling. I just don't like it. So if it did not have the minty tingle, I would keep it. Um, any more in here that I don't like? I wasn't a huge fan of this honest one. Tinted lip balm in lychee fruit. I mean, the color is okay. It's very, very light, like really, really light. But I don't know, the formula was a little dry for me. And it doesn't have any scent to it. I don't know, it was just kind of bland. It's not my fave, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I love these Tom Ford ones. These are called the Ultra Shine Lip Colors. This one is in the shade Bare. It's one of those like cool toned neutral nudes and it is so beautiful. Now this definitely has more pigmentation than the other ones. It's kind of leaning more towards a lipstick, but such a gorgeous, amazing color and the formula is really, really nice. A good drugstore option are these Revlon ones. Uh, super Lustrous Shine. Sparkling Honey is really, really pretty. It's very, very light. Like the the formula is so thin and like juicy and it makes your lips look so glossy. It's like a very light wash of color. Really, really nice. I like these a lot. And then the other one that I have is just, it doesn't have any color, it's just clear. But it almost does have like a little bit of like a luminosity to it. So it is really pretty. I really like both of them. Oh! These are incredible. These Sephora ones. I love the packaging. This one is L21. These are really, really great dupes for like the Chanel ones. Oh, look at that color. 
Oh my god, I love this color. I had a few other ones, but I got rid of them, and I just kept this one because I love this color. The formula is very similar to the Chanel ones. A little bit more pigmentation, but not too much. So good. And they're around like $10. Oh my god. I wish I knew exactly what these were called, but I don't. If I can find it, I'll put it on the screen. These are such a good option. If you don't want to spend the money on Chanel or Dior, uh, speaking of Dior, the Stellar Shine in 125. This is a very different color for me. This one is almost like a iridescent, like peachy orange. But on the lips, this looks so cool. This color, tell me that is not like the most unique color that you've ever seen. I can't even see if that's focusing. Such a cool shade. It almost has like reflect in it but it's not like pieces of shimmer it's just like an all over like luminosity this is such a pretty color very different from my collection I love the packaging it's like has like some holographic like iridescent uh, just so good overall I mean uh, my legs are falling asleep uh what else this NARS Laguna one is nice this was like a little birthday gift you know, when you pick your little birthday gift. It's nice. I don't know if it's anything crazy great. Uh, this Urban Decay one, Vanished. This is one of their sheer lips. I think I need more of them because this is so good. This also gives you that, like, supermodel lip. Can you see that? Oh, my goodness. The color's so pretty. Formula is so thin and comfortable. Like, all of these that I'm showing you that I love. You cannot go wrong. Great, great options. Um, I have a lip crayon in here. Burt's Bees Gloss Lip Crayon in Outback Oasis. This is my second one. I'm running out of room. I'm going to have to wipe off. But look at that magical color. Oh my goodness, so pretty. And the formula is so nice. It's a lip crayon, but it's glossy, which is very different. I feel like most lip crayons that you use are more on the matte side or just kind of like in the middle. It's rare to find one that's glossy. I know NARS does glossy ones. Um, this is really, really good. One of my favorites from Burt's Bees. The Pat McGrath Blow Up Lip Fetish Sheer Color Balm. The shade is called Blow Up. When I first got this, I was really a fan of it, but I have so many other ones that I like better. I am going to keep it because I spent the money on it, but it's just not, I don't know. I feel like there's better options out there, and it might just be the color. I used to really like it, but I, I don't know. Now, like, if I would go into this little container, I would never pick this one to wear. I would always pick something else. It's just, it's all right, but I don't think it's worth the money, in my opinion. I'm going to keep it, but not my fave. These ones from Jessie's Girl are really good. I don't know exactly what they're called, but this one's in the shade Victoria. Again, this is a, like a glossy tinted kind of balm feel. Now, a little bit more pigmented than like the Chanel ones, but really, really pretty. Again, very comfortable. The formula doesn't like bunch up really good and Jessie's Girl is a few dollars at the drugstore. I think it rated. Okay we're almost done here. Uh, Wet n Wild again don't know exactly what these were called. Now these are more pigmented than the other ones. Leaning more towards a lipstick but really really good and again a few dollars. So there are options out there if you don't want Dior or Chanel because like, when I think of a glossy, like, tinted balm, I always think of the Chanel Rouge Coco Shines. They're just, like, top of the line. But there's many, many good drugstore options out there. All May Color and Care Lip Oil in Stick in shade 100. This is really nice. Very, very sheer formula. Like, very light. Very thin. But so nice if you want, like, next to no color but you want that glossy look. I really like these and I never hear anyone talk about them, but I think that they're really good. 
Revlon Ultra HD Lipstick in the shade HD Desert. Does anybody remember when I had a serious love affair with this? Like, I went hard. This is going to be my last one before I wipe off. Now, again, a little bit more pigmented than the others, but on the lip, the color is just so pretty. The formula is so nice. It's, ugh, so good. And usually, like, these longer ones like this, I don't know, I tend to kind of stay away from them because I've just not had great luck with them, but this one is so, so, so nice. So, we're getting rid of a few. We didn't do too terrible. We're getting rid of seven. And we're keeping a lot, but I knew that we wouldn't get rid of a lot in this category. And there'll be more along the way. We're not done with tinted balms yet. Okay, I rounded up a few more. So this Burt's Bees one in the shade Nile Nude, it looks, oh shoot, let me wipe these swatches off. I have no room to swatch anything else. Did I say the shade? It's Nile Nude. Look how beautiful that is. What more do you people want? I'm giving you so many good options. And I love the packaging on this. It looks like a little honeycomb. So cute. I did throw this one in, even though it's a lip oil. Wander Beauty Lip Retreat in Skinny Dip. This is a lip oil, but it feels very, like, tinted balm to me. Now, it, you can tell it's a lip oil because it's so glossy, but these are not oily. I have lip oils that are really oily. They kind of slide off your lips. I hate that. This is a little bit of a thicker oil, so hydrating, so comfortable, and like the nude tint just sends me over the edge. I just, I can't take it. It's too good. This I got free from Ulta when I bought a bunch of NYX stuff. Filler Instinct in Beach Casual, and this one's really nice. Now, this is a very, very light nude, kind of like the Fenty one, but this formula is done right. It doesn't bunch up on the lips. The color is very uniform. It's a very thin formula. So I would definitely pick this one over the Fenty one. Very similar color, but the next one is done. Just so good. And then I have two from Lipstick Queen. Uh, Saint Peachy Nude. They did like a Saint and Sinners line. Yeah, Saint Peachy Nude. And this one has just the feel of a tinted balm. It's a very thin formula. I feel like I'm repeating myself. Super comfortable, just like a little hint of color. Look at that color. It is, oh my God, I can't take it. And then this one is Float. This is a very unique nude. I swear this one has, I'll get close up so you can really see it. It almost has some sort of like iridescence in the formula when you have this on your lips. Oh my God, this is top five for me. I love Float from Lipstick Queen. There's just something about it and I don't even know what is in there that gives it that really different look to it. It looks like luminous on your lips, but not like sparkly. It's just, oh my God, it's so good. And then I have the Tinted Balm version of Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. This is really, really pretty. I mean, it's Pillow Talk in a Tinted Balm, essentially. Gorgeous, so pretty. I just wore this the other day and I was like, you know, I really don't show this one enough love. It really is a nice, comfortable formula and just the perfect amount of pigmentation. It's a little bit more pigmented than my other ones, but not too much. Really good. So I have two of the Rouge Volup Shine in number 44. Um, this is my second one, and then I bought this one because it was like limited edition with the little hearts on it, and of course I had to have it because I'm crazy. But this is, this is like an iconic cult favorite. So many people talk about this lip color. It's just the perfect amount of color. The formula is so amazing. Oh my God, amazingly good. So if you're willing to splurge a little bit, oh, these are so good. Now, do I like these or the Chanel ones better? I think I would go with the Chanel ones. 
just because I like the colors better, but formula-wise, I don't know. It's really close. They are both so, so, so good. Okay, well, if we're talking glossy tinted balms, we have to talk about Jouer. So these are the Essential Shine Balm, or Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. Yes, Essential Lip Enhancer Shine Balm. So many pretty colors. Amaryllis is my favorite. They have one that just like has no color to it. This one is natural. There's so many different tones and just, oh my God, look how pretty. Ah, wrong side. Look how beautiful. You can't, you just, you can't go wrong. The formula is great. Like I said, so many shades to choose from. Let me find Amaryllis, which is my fave, and I will swatch it for you. Okay, here we go. Here's Amaryllis. Just like the most magical nude. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Look how beautiful that is. Yes, always, yes. I obviously love them. Um, I have given some of these away in like colors that I didn't need, but somehow I still ended up with like eight of them. Um, also, I love the It Cosmetics Pillow Lips. This one is in the shade Wistful. This formula is so good. I don't know what else I can say. Like it's very similar to other ones that you've seen. But there's something about these little lip crayons, like these little clicky pens, that I have been loving. The formula almost feels gel-like, and it's thick, but in a really good, like, hydrating sort of way. These two are very similar to my absolute favorite, which is Marc Jacobs' uh, Mocha Chocolata, which is up in my purse, but I will insert a swatch of it. That is like my number one. I wear that every day. It just lives in my purse. The Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip in Rose has been one of my favorites recently. I cannot stop wearing this. The formula feels like a thick, amazing gel. It's so like squishy and just amazing. I've probably said amazing 4,000 times. But these two are incredible. I keep both of these on my vanity and I wear them a lot along with the Marc Jacobs one. Like they all three of them would be in the same category and just cannot go wrong with any of them. Colors, formula, just perfection. Just look at this one. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. Look how much like thicker that formula just looks compared to the other ones. You can almost like see the difference. And a lot of times I love the super, super thin formula, but if it's done right, that thick, like pillowy gel formula is just unbeatable. All right, you know what? Let's do liquid lips next because there's not that many of them at all. I actually have them thrown in here with lip liners because there's only a few. All right. This is my liquid lipstick collection. <laughs> I do have a couple um, brighter ones, but right now we're just focusing on nudes. So the Revlon Color Stay Satin Ink, wonderful formula. I have two of them, I will swatch them. So we have your go-to, which is really, really pretty. Oh God, look at that color. This formula, is not dry and crumbly and cracky. This one is Eyes On You. I've showed these before you guys. Look how pretty. The formula is so nice, very comfortable. They don't fully dry down, but they're not like slip sliding all over your face. Really good. Now my favorite liquid lip formula is from L'Oreal. These are so good. I could cry. I have three of them. I don't really wear this one though, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is I Am Power. But if you're not a fan of the really dry liquid lips, I know some people really like that formula that gets super matte. I hate it. I am gonna get rid of this one though, just cause I don't love the color. 
If you're not a fan of that super matte lip, you will love these. They're so comfortable, but you're still getting like the liquid lip feel. This one's I Create. Oh my God. I just, I can't. They're too good. This one is I Tease. This one's a little bit darker. But the formula is so thin. The colors are so pretty. They last really long on your lips without getting cracky, crumbly. They don't feel like your lips are about to fall off because they're so dry and you just want to like throw yourself into a vat of Vaseline. Really, really, really good. If you want a liquid lip without the pain, these guys will do you right. And then I have these two from Ofra. These are old, so I'm going to be getting rid of both of them. Revive. I don't even know why I kept this one. Like, look at that color. That is not my color. That is going. And then this one is Refine. Like, the color is really pretty. Sometimes Ofra liquid lips for me are a little bit too dry. They just get a little bit too matte for my liking. So those two are going to go. Like, I know if I want a liquid lip, these are the only ones that I would ever grab for. I would never grab for an Ofra one. Even though I do have some new Ofra ones that are really, really pretty, you're going to see them in my next Get Ready With Me. But these are, these are the ones right here. We're doing pretty good. I mean, not as good as I wanted, but we're doing pretty good. Now moving on to lipsticks. Oh, Jesus. Like, do I, do I need all of these lipsticks? The answer is no. These are all Natasha, but I just love the formula so much, but I don't wear them. One of my favorites from Natasha is Amorosa. This color is so gorgeous. Tell me that's not the perfect, just the perfect shade. It has enough mauve in it, but it's still like that nude. Oh my God. This is my favorite one. I love it so much. But I have all of these. I don't want to swatch all of them. I did an entire video on the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lips. I swatched all of them. So I will put that up in a card if you guys are curious about the colors. As of right now, I don't know that I'm going to get rid of any of them. Maybe I'll swatch them all off camera and then we'll kind of figure out if I want to do that. But I'm going to just let them be for now. I feel like I already cut my lipstick collection down last time we did a declutter. But I feel like where I'm really going to get rid of stuff is with the brighter shades and with my lip glosses. But there might be a few in here that I can part ways with. Like these two Origins ones, I really don't wear these. Pink Carnation. Now these are the lipsticks. These are not like their glossy balms. Yeah, that color is just not my color. So I can get rid of that one. Champagne Orchid. This one's really pretty. I think I can get rid of that one. That's a little bit more bronzy than I remember. I'm going to get rid of that one. Let's swatch these Revlon ones. So I have Nude Fury, which is my favorite one. Oh my gosh, if you want a good nude, just in general, but from the drugstore. That color. Oh my god. And then this one is Bear Affair. This one's pretty, but I, I never wear it. Yeah, I can get rid of Bear Affair. Uh, Untold Stories. This is actually a really good dupe for Pillow Talk. It's very similar to Pillow Talk. Where is my Pillow Talk? I'll do a side-by-side -side for you. Okay, here's Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I think they're very similar. Pillow Talk's a little bit deeper, but like that's a really good dupe for Pillow Talk. Untold Stories from Revlon. The formula is a little bit more matte in my opinion, but similar. 
And then this one is Obsessed. The, oh, this is one of them. Excuse the frick out of me, what just happened? Oh my god. How rude. Make me look bad on camera. I don't like that color anyway, so I'm getting rid of you, especially after the way you just acted. The audacity of you. Let's watch these other three Charlotte Tilbury's. So I have Nude Kate, which is just such a pretty light nude. I don't wear it very often, but I really like the color. And then I have Kim KW. Wait, I thought I got rid of this one. I hate this color. The formula and everything on this one, like it's so like chalky and bad. I'm getting rid of that one. That should not be in there. I thought I got rid of you. And then this is Bitch Perfect. This one is beautiful. Oh. Oh. Yes. So good. So we'll keep three, get rid of one. I want to swatch these Morphe's because I have not worn these in quite a while. So we have Honey, which is a matte. This is probably the one that I wear the most. It's really pretty. It's really, really pretty. Uh, Wifey, which is also a matte. Oh, they're so nice. Uh, Forevs, which is a cream. I do like the cream formula better, I think. And then Caught, which is also a cream. Oh, this one's gorgeous. I think that I might get rid of, what was that one, Matt? Was it Wifey that was this one? Wait, I forget. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of Wifey. I'm not just, I'm not going to wear that color. Do I need both of those creams though? I think I do. Yep, I'm going to keep the other three. I can't decide. Now these three from IT. I love them. Like the colors are so pretty, but I don't ever wear them. And I feel like I'm not going to wear them. Humble is a matte. Look, like it's like brand new. It's pretty, but I think I'm going to get rid of it. I just never wear dark shades like that. This one is Wistful. This is actually like the lipstick version of that It Pillow Lips that I showed you. I would always choose the pillow lips over wearing like the actual lipstick. Yeah, I can get rid of that one. I'm just never going to wear these colors. And then Serene is a cream. Oh, put her right here. I'm just, I'm not going to wear that. Who am I kidding? I'm getting rid of all three of them. Two more of these Wet n Wild ones. These are both so nice. The one that I really like is called Mad for Mauve. Uh, I'm going to have to wipe swatches off. Look at that. That formula is so damn good and a few dollars at the drugstore. This one is Peach Please. I don't, I don't wear this. I think I can get rid of this one. It almost has that like super, super light nude look to it. And when I put it on my lips, it just looks kind of streaky and chalky. It's just too light for me. So I will get rid of that one. Look how pretty all these swatches look together though. Like, doesn't that just bring you an insane amount of joy? Like, all of my MAC lips, I don't want to get rid of any of them. I just don't want to. So I don't think I'm going to. But, like, this little... What is this little... What are these little guys? Uh, this little guy? Well, I don't even know what these are. This is Fenty Mademoiselle in Griselda. What is this? Oh my god, when am I ever going to wear that color? What? Wait, my hand is wet. When would I ever wear this color? I mean, it's really pretty though. Dang, that's pretty. I think I want to keep that. Don't you judge me. 
this little wander one came in like this little gift set kind of thing. Uh, Cloud Nine Mini Lipstick and Upgrade. That's really pretty. Do I need it? The answer is probably no. And then this Mini Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche, Amuse Bouche and Thistle. Oh, I used to really like this color. Like, it's just so unique. I don't have anything else like it. I think that's why I hold on to it. What is this? Earthling from Urban Decay? What? That is so light, Nicole. Why are you... No! I'm never going to wear that. What am I doing? What exactly am I doing? Look how light that is. That can go. And then Sansa Stark. Sansa, I don't know. I didn't watch Game of Thrones. Don't yell at me. Oh, that's so pretty. I totally forgot that I had this. I need to wear that. I'm keeping it out. These tart ones. Skinny dip. I used to wear this a lot. I think now it's just too light for me. So I think I'm going to part with that one. Oh, Colada is gorgeous. You guys, if you want like the perfect nude color, how beautiful is that? These are all so pretty. Rum Punch is another one. It's a little bit more like on the brown side. Ah, dying, dead. Uh, Beach Babe, I think this one is, oh no, that's not too late. Oh wait, that is a little bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna wear that color. That can go. And then five o'clock. This one's a little deeper. Am I ever going to wear that? Uh, the answer is probably no. But I kind of want to keep it. I'm going to keep it. Another lip line that I love that I'm so sad that we even have to talk about is Becca. Becca lips are so good. Becca's going though. This is sugar and I love everything about her. She's so beautiful. She's so beautiful. Yours truly. Like why did Becca have to go? Can we just have a moment of freaking silence for Becca? I'll swatch Bear while we have a moment of silence. Oh my god. <sighs> Cupid's kiss. Ah! Oh my god. It's so sad. Becca, where did you go? Come back. Do I need to keep all of those though? Wait, what's this one? I don't think I need that one. Is that sugar? Wait, no, because sugar is the one that I love. Why is sugar looking... So oh no, sugar's over here. I was going to say. I think it was bear. I think this one might be a little bit, I think I might be able to get rid of that one. What do you guys think? That's going to be a maybe. I'll set her aside. I know I want all of my NARS. Um, I do have a few ColourPop that we might be able to part with. There's another one. What's your sign is really pretty. I know that I don't want to get rid of that one. It's gorgeous. Really, really pretty. But Brick, like this is a dark shade, and I never wear dark shades. I can get rid of that one. And then Seven Springs. This is just like such a unique, like orangey shade. I, I do have a lot of orange lips. I'm lying. I can get rid of that one. Uh, these Urban Decay ones, what are these even called? Stay Naked Vice Lip Chemistry. I don't ever, ever wear these. This one's in the shade Heavy. Oh, I love that color. I'm keeping that one. I'm getting that out to wear. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Oh, my God. This one is Saucy. That one's more pink. Oh, they're so pretty. I forgot how good they were. Shoot, I'm keeping both of them. Um, I have a YSL lip in number 10, Rouge Pure Couture. 
I never wear it because I hate the way this color looks on me. I hate that color on me, but I refuse to get rid of it. I don't know why, I just can't do it. I paid for it. The packaging is so beautiful. I'm just gonna keep it forever. So I guess I'm not doing, I guess I'm not doing too good in the lipstick department, which is fine because like I said, I did a big declutter not too long ago. Um, so I'm pretty good with where we're at right now. I'm just going to keep all of these. Wait, do I need all of these L'Oreal ones? Hold on. Let's do a quick swatch. Full blown fawn. I don't really like that color. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, what is this guy? Utmost taupe. You guys, I'm running out of room. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't think I need that one either. Uh, Ultra Nude is really, really pretty. I'm not going to get rid of this one. Ooh, so good. Anything that's like a cooler toned nude, I just, I can't part with. And then Bold Mauve. Ooh, she is saucy. Yeah, I'm not going to wear that color, so I can get rid of that one, too. Okay, lip gloss time. So I have three from Fenty. I love the Fenty gloss bombs. But the Maybelline Lifter gloss, I think, is even, I don't want to say better, but just as good. A perfect dupe, like a perfect dupe. Let me just show you. Let me swatch Fenty, like the original Fenty Glow, which I've talked about these, I mean, for years. Like this is probably my second or third one because, you know, I'll wear it for a while, I'll forget about it, the formula goes bad, and then I buy another one because I freaking love it. But I don't think I will replace it now since I've discovered the Lifter Gloss in Moon. I mean, the formula is just as good, if not better. The colors are very similar. One of, if not my most favorite lip gloss that I own. Look, I mean, look at the packaging. Let me wipe her off. Good God, I wear it a lot and I love it so much. I do hate that the packaging gets so messy. Like I have to do this very, very often. If you have not tried the lifter glosses, like look how low mine is. It's way down here. We're going to have to get a new one soon. It makes your lips look so juicy and gorgeous. The formula is thick and like gel-like, but not sticky or goopy. Maybelline killed it. Killed it with the lifter gloss. Incredible. I'm going to keep my Fenty one for now, but once this one goes bad, I will just toss it and not replace it. This is Fussy, also really, really pretty. I go back and forth between which one I like better. Hey, Fussy might be closer to the Lifter Gloss and Moon than the original Fenty Glow. I think they're like a perfect dupe. Holy crap. That's crazy. And then I also have the one in Diamond. Milk, diamond milk. This one's also beautiful. Like sometimes if I wear a lipstick that's a little bit too like intense, I will put this over top and it kind of dials it down but also gives it this like luminosity to it that is so pretty. I just love the Fenty gloss bombs. I don't think you can go wrong, but for half the price, just go get the lifter gloss. It's basically the same thing. Okay, let's get down and dirty. So I have to, oh, I have another lifter gloss in here. This one is amber. I don't wear this one. Like, to be honest, if I'm going to wear a lifter gloss, I'm just going to wear moon. Yeah, that's a little bit too pigmented of a gloss for me. So I think I can get rid of that. Even though I love the formula with all of my heart and soul. I just don't wear that color. 
So I have two of these Hangover RX pillow balms from Too Faced lip treatment. I really like the nude one and I kept the banana one because it smells so freaking good. But I don't know. Do I even want to keep these? I haven't worn them in so long. Let me put a little bit of this one on and see what I think. I don't think that I love it. So I think I might part with both of these. And they tingle your lips, which is always a negative in my opinion. Um, I have this Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme. This really does plump your lips and make them look freaking juicy. I don't have many lip plumpers. I think this might be the only one, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, the Dollar Store, Believe Beauty. This is the gloss. Oh shoot, my camera stopped recording and I don't know where I last was. So this is the Dollar General freaking Believe Beauty. I love it so much. Ethereal lip gloss. So stinking pretty. This whole Dollar General makeup line is incredible. I'm keeping. And then I have a few of these LA Girl Dream Glitter Glosses. Or did I get rid of the other ones? Maybe I only have one left. This one is called Sparkle and it is beautiful. I love a gloss that has a little bit of like luminosity to it. I just I love it. Um, these little Jouer ones. I probably should get rid of these. I think I've had these for a little while. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of all of these little guys. I have a lot of Jouer. I've had this little Becca one for freaking ever. I have to get rid of that. I love Jouer lip glosses. They are so, so, so nice. Diamond Walk is probably my favorite. PCH is another favorite. This one is really, really light. What is that called? Feminist? I think I can probably get rid of that one. Uh, Parisian, so pretty. Maui, I've had that for a while. I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think, oh, what was this one? It's like on the tip of my freaking tongue. This one is pearl. I think I can get rid of that one. Let me swatch this one. Maybe it'll come to me. Oh, what is that dang color? I'll put it on the screen. I'm going to have to look it up, but this was like one of my favorite ones. I'm going to keep this one. Do I need all three of these? I think I'm going to keep PCH and Diamond Walk and maybe I can get rid of Parisian. Yeah, I can probably part with that because it's very similar to this one, the nameless one that I love. But Jouer lip glosses, they're either the um, sheer pigment ones or the high pigment ones, both. You cannot go wrong. They're just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, I have a few Ofra ones. Is that it for Ofra? Oh, here's another one. I do not need all of these. This one is Peony. Like they're really pretty, but oh, I just don't need all of these. Okay, I'm gonna keep, Peony actually is really pretty. I think I'm gonna keep Peony and I might part with the rest. So we'll just keep one. This number seven high shine lip gloss, I don't even know what the shade is, pink latte. I just got this not too long ago, but am I gonna wear it? Oh, I love a gloss like that though, that has that like reflect to it. Oh shoot, I'm keeping it. Uh, this Tarte one in the shade Night Dive. I've had that for a while. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This Milani Peach Lip Balm shouldn't be in there, but I'm not a fan of it, so I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm starting to mix them up by accident. This e.l.f. one in the shade Fantasy Lip Lacquer is so pretty. It's like very up my alley. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping it. Can you even see that color? I think you can. It is so pretty. Uh, the Disney House of Sillage one I'm going to hang on to. They sent me this one. It's really pretty. 
Okay, we have a few from Persona. I feel like I'm not doing that good. But I don't need all of these Persona ones. I think I might be able, I know this one's old, so I'm going to get rid of that one. I think I might be able to part with both of these. That's so pretty. This one is Twilight. Oh, and they smell so good. Hold on, let me swatch this other one. This one is Marrakesh. Okay, Marrakesh is very, very pigmented. I think I can get rid of her. I don't go for a pigmented gloss. I like when they're very light and soft. So I think I might keep Twilight. She's really pretty. Keep. I love the Galactic glosses. Glow is my favorite one. It lives on my vanity. I've been through a few of these. Galactic Glow Gloss is the most beautiful, like luminous, reflect filled gloss, and it is done so right. I also do love this one. Like, I just love the formula. This one is Diamonds. They're some of the best. If you want a luminous lip gloss, I don't know that I've found any that are better than the Girlactic ones. They're incredible. I have another uh, lip oil from Wander. This one is in Oasis. I think this one is just clear. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. I don't need another lip oil. This ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip and On Board I've had for quite a while, so I'm going to get rid of that. These Morphe ones, oh, I used to love these, but I just don't wear them anymore. I think I can get rid of all three of them. They're kind of old, so they should go. This is one of my favorite glosses ever, the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Gloss in, what is the shade called? I do not know, but I will try to put it on the screen. One of the best milky pink glosses you will ever find in your life. I have like three backups. Look, I have just two in here. Because I'm a psycho. I'm keeping them. Uh, this Maybelline. This was a collab with someone, but I can't read the name. I'm going to get rid of that one because I've had it for a while. Uh, this Pixie one I can also get rid of. And this Clay de, Clay de Poe. Yeah. Uh, my friend Michelle sent me this one. She's amazing and I love this gloss and I'm keeping it. Alrighty kids, next day, let's bust this out. Let's finish it up. Also, I've decided that I am going to get rid of this other Vice one because I tried it out this morning and I was just like, you know, I don't, I just don't love this. So I'm getting rid of it. All right, okay, we're getting there guys. We're, I swear we're getting there. All right, so here we have my nude lip crayons and there's two uh, Makeup Forever Artist Nude Creams. These are nice, but they're old and I need to get rid of them and I never really wear them. Like that's just not my, they're really pretty. That's just not my jam though. This one is called, hold on. This one is 04 and then this other one, I guess I might as well swatch it, is 01. Like the colors are really, really pretty. Um, I just, yeah, I don't wear them and they're old, so I'm gonna actually make a toss pile. Okay, so I have a bunch of NARS lip crayons that I freaking love. I went through these not too long ago and got rid of the ones like that I didn't really care for. Oh, there's an e.l.f. one. I wanna talk about this one in a second. So all of the NARS ones, I already know that I'm keeping. They're amazing. I love them. I'll swatch a few of my favorites for you. I have one gloss one. It's very, very light, but I just love a glossy lip crayon. I don't know why. I just do. I love it. This is probably my favorite one, Bettina. This just looks so pretty and natural on the lips. Oh, I love, it. I love these NARS lip crayons. They are so good, you cannot go wrong with any of them. Incredible. But the Morphe ones are also really good. I only have four at this point. I used to have a lot more. Uh, my favorite NARS one, I mean my favorite Morphe one is, I think it's this one, IRL, yes. Now these are more on the matte side. 
even a little bit more matte than the NARS ones, but they're very, very comfortable. So we like those. We are keeping those. This e.l.f. one is really good. It's in the shade Praline. I love this formula. It is so nice. It's not too matte. It's not glossy. It's just like right down the middle. Look at that color. Amazing. If you want an inexpensive lip crayon, e.l.f. Praline. Oh my gosh. I'm getting that out to wear because I love it. Look at that baby up close. Oh my gosh, tell me that is not gorgeous. Ugh, I love it. I have this hourglass refill that I can probably get rid of. It's, I don't even know what this shade is. It doesn't even stay on here. Sorry, I know you can't see what I'm doing. Um, It's really pretty, I don't ever wear it. Yeah, I can get rid of that. Goodbye. I have, oh, I thought I had another milk one. I love milk makeup lip crayons. This one's low key. This is my, ooh, this is my favorite one. This color is divine. It's like a purpley nude. So pretty. I can't get rid of it. I've had this forever, but I am not getting rid of it. Now these uh, Laura Mercier ones are new to me. These are the Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick. I'll swatch one of them. This one is fresh. That color is really pretty. Is it a color that, oh, sorry. Is it a color that I think I'm gonna wear a lot? Probably not. Let me swatch the other one. This one is Charm, Charmuse. I mean, what do we think? I'm gonna keep them for now just cause they're new to me. I need to wear them. I love ColourPop lips. Incredible. Cannot go wrong. Oh Snap is my favorite. I bought like five of these. I think I'm on my third one. Incredible. Oh Snap is my most favorite ColourPop lippy stick ever. Like you guys know the love that I have for Oh Snap. I've been talking about it for years. Uh, this hourglass one is in the shade Influencer. I've also had this forever. I should probably get rid of it. But it's so pretty. I'm going to get that out to wear. If I don't wear it, I will get rid of it. Oh, here's another Laura Mercier one. Jolie. I love that name for a girl. Oh, that is not my color. Okay, Jolie we can part with. That is really not my color. And then this Maybelline one is really nice also. Color Sensational, oh shoot, matte lipstick in the shade More Buff. This is so pretty. Look at that gorgeous color. Yeah, definitely keeping that one. Okay, let's go through my little backups real quick and then we will get into the brights. So I have a backup of my NARS Voodoo Lily that my friend Michelle sent me from Singapore because I could not get my hands on it. Hang on, where is my, I will show it to you. Let me wipe these swatches off. We'll start fresh. So we're gonna have to get up close and personal with this one because she's very, very light. Oh, but so amazing. Like the formula is so, 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 so sheer but there's just something about this freaking color I'm putting it on right now. I love it. Hmm? <laughs> you can't even say it. I have one backup left of my Samantha Ravindahl MAC collab. I will also grab that and give you a little swatch of it. My favorite MAC lipstick ever, probably my most favorite lipstick ever. You guys know the love. This was only available in Canada. My aunt sent me a bunch of them. Obsession, love it so much. I think this was only available in Canada. It was years ago, but I bought a bunch of them because I freaking, the formula, the color, like it's a sin that this was not made permanent because it is so good. I also have a backup of MAC Babe Town. Hold on, I'll give you a swatch. Another one that is so beautiful. It was probably limited edition. Oh my God, you need a close up. Just feast your freaking eyes. Oh my God. 
MAC lipsticks, I just, I will never get tired of them. I think MAC lipsticks are so good. I have a few backups of NARS lip crayons. I don't know why I kept all of these. What is that? That is gorgeous. Famous Red. Um, I have a backup of Recusion. Oh, here's my other O oh Snap backup. A backup of Cami. That's a really pretty one. I've had these forever. And then I have a few backup lip liners. I don't know, you guys. I can get rid of this pixie one, though. That's old. Um, the rest of these are staying, though. Am I ever going to wear these? I might send some of these to my friend Dee, but I've, like, had these forever, but she probably wouldn't care. <laughs> Would I put them in giveaways? No, because they're not like brand new. Would I give them to one of my friends? Absolutely. I mean, they've never been used. They're brand new. They've just been sitting here for a year or two. It's fine. Okay, now finally getting into the braids. Okay, should we start with the lip crayons? <laughs> you guys. Now I am gonna get rid of, I don't know. I just feel like I like to collect lip crayons. I need to wear them though. I don't want to get rid of any of them. I just don't. Okay, my favorite bright lip crayon is the Chanel one. It is in the shade Provocation. It is the most gorgeous orangey red. Did you see how that just swiped on there? Look, one swipe. Oh my god. If you are a fan of an orangey red lip, you have to get this. It is not up for discussion. You need it. Spend the money and get it and wear it and just live your best fiery orangey red lipped life. Another really pretty one, Red Square from NARS. Similar, very, actually very, very similar. There's just something about the Chanel one that is just magic. Another one that I used to wear a lot that I have not worn in a while because I don't wear red lips much anymore is Cruella from NARS. Gorgeous. More of like a, has more of like a blue undertone. It's a bluey red. Oh, here's another Cruella. Oh my God, why do I have two of them? I can get rid of one. I'll get rid of, this one actually looks like it's, worse off than the little one. I'm going to keep the little one and get rid of that one. Oh, do you guys remember when I used to wear this? I think I wore this in a few videos. It's a satin lip pencil from NARS in the shade U. Why U? Look at that. It's so fun. It reminds me of like a 90s hot pink lip. Really pretty. Um, this one's also really pretty. 413 Blacker. This one has almost like a little bit of like iridescence in it. I'm never going to wear that though. It's really cool though. It's a really cool color. Ugh, I'm going to keep it. There are a few Morphe ones. There's a two milk ones. Do I need both of these? Like, <laughs> I don't need both of these, you guys. Ugh, so pretty. This one is name drop i've had these forever this one's og red see i would wear name drop og red i probably wouldn't wear so i can get rid of that one like some of these nars ones like this one never say never i'm not ever gonna wear that color i have a problem parting with them though i don't know why like am i ever gonna wear this blue one unspoken no but it's so freaking cool and i always think like what if one day somebody's like do you have a blue lip i could borrow sure i've had it for 72 years but here throw it on you'll be fine i'm not getting rid of them i'm keeping them okay stop i'll get rid of some of these lipsticks but the lip trans they stay i love them right, let's go through the pinks there's not that many Look, just a little handful. Now this NYX matte lipstick in the shade Sweet Pink is gorgeous. 
and I used to wear this a lot. I really kind of suck now. I used to really venture out with fun lips. I don't really do it anymore. That's a maybe. Let's look at the other ones. I have this Jean Michel Basquiat. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Exhibition. This was a limited one. I keep it because the color is freaking beautiful. And look at this packaging. It's so cool. I'm keeping it. Uh, what about this Revlon one? Heartbreaker. I might be able to part with this. I don't think I've ever worn this. But it's like the only drugstore one I have. I'm so torn. M203 from Makeup Forever. Oh my god, you guys. Maybe I can get rid of this Huda one. I'm not big on Huda lips. Bachelorette. Okay, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Shit. I'll get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. I never wear bright pink lips. Um, NARS Audacious in Angela. <laughs> Why do I have all of these, like... You guys, this is a problem. Uh, okay, guys. These are all reds and oranges. One of the most beautiful reds that I own is from Becca and it is called Hot Tamale and it is so gorgeous. <sighs> I'm keeping it. I have this limited edition MAC one in blue blood that I know I'm not getting rid of even though the color is not my most favorite, but like the packaging, it was limited. I'm keeping it. You can judge. Relentlessly Red is one of the best red lips. It's a, I think it's a retro matte, so it's really, really matte. That formula feels like it got a little bit weird. Maybe it just needs like warmed up. I don't know. I'm going to make that a maybe. This other MAC one in... Frambois moi. Frambois moi. What the frick? Did I ever swatch this? Frambois moi. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm definitely keeping it. Okay, let's figure out what I can get rid of. Where are my peaches at? I can get rid of that one. If I'm going to wear a, an orangey red lip, it's usually the Chanel one. But who remembers how much I used to love Indie Flick from NYX? This, if you want an orangey red and you do not want to spend a lot of money, a uh, freaking amazing. Okay, two Huda ones. I can get rid of that one. That is El Cinco de Mayo. This one is Spring Break. Yeah, they can go. This Morphe one, I can... I think I can get rid of this. Tease. Oh, it's really pretty, but yeah. She can go. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. I have a few of these L'Oreal ones that I love with all of my heart and soul. But this one, as much as I love this color, I feel like on the lips, this one's kind of difficult because the formula is like so thin that it works really well for nudes. Orangey red, it's not the greatest. This one is called I Radiate, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. I might get rid of both of these. These are both kind of old. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of all of them. Uh, NARS Rita, I'm not getting rid of it. I have a few, wait, what's this? Oh, oh, never mind. Uh, Mac Mandarin O. What a cute name. Have I ever worn this? Oh, I love that formula. That is so nice. I'm keeping that. Uh, NARS Lana. Ugh. Oh. Oh my god. So good. Okay, this Revlon one I can get rid of. Fire and Ice. I've never worn it. I'm not gonna wear it. I don't need it. Revlon on Fire can go. Uh, oh, this is pretty. This is like a purple one. Insane. I'm never gonna wear that. I can get rid of it. Oh, goodbye hair. 
Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink in the shade Smokin' Hot. Wait till you see this color. Oh my gold. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm like way up at the top. It's gorgeous. So pretty. Keeping. Uh, ColourPop Better Off. Oh, that's a really pretty color. That's gorgeous. I'm getting that out to freaking wear. ColourPop Flower Season. Oh, that's so pretty. Shoot. That's a maybe. Style Shocked from MAC. What the heck? Oh, no. You little piece of crabola. <laughs> you stay in your home, sir. Oh, that's so pretty. Shoot. Hold on, I need a wipe. Makeup Forever M300. I can get rid of that one, even though it's really pretty. And then Too Faced Gingerbread Man. Hold on, let's give a little... I'm at, like, such a weird angle here because my legs were, like, falling asleep. That's gorgeous. I'm keeping it... Okay, do I need these two? Relentlessly Red. Do I want to keep that? I feel like I used to really like this one. I'm keeping it. Shoot, you guys, I'm doing really bad. I'm keeping it. Oh, God, you guys, my hand is so stained. Holy crap. What did I put up here? That was that freaking L'Oreal liquid lip that I got rid of, that orangey one. That stained the crap out of my hand. Okay, so here's the lip liners that I love. These are the ones that I pick from every day. Um, the one that I wear the most is probably the Pat McGrath one. Where is she? Pat McGrath, right here. The Permagel lip liner in Done Undone. I mean, it really is so good. Take a minute. Just take a freaking minute. It's it's amazing. If I could only have one lip liner, I think it would be this one. But I really, really love NYX lip liners. This one is Peekaboo Neutral. I think this is the one that's a dupe for Pillow Talk. Let's do a little Pillow Talk swipe beside it. I also love the Pillow Talk liner. Look at that. They're like the exact same color. NYX lip liners are amazing, so you really don't need to spend the money on Charlotte when you can get NYX Peekaboo Neutral. I mean, they're the exact same color. The LA Girl ones are really good. I love MAC lip liners. Ugh, MAC lip liners are just so good. Subculture, Strip Down, I mean, they're all just great. Bite Beauty does really good ones. The Morphe ones are nice. I love ColourPop. The ColourPop ones are a little bit too creamy for me some days. I prefer like a drier wooden lip liner, like the MAC ones are probably my favorite next to NYX and Pat McGrath. All right, I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. The only thing we didn't talk about were these couple. Uh, the next, this is Milky Gloss. Incredible. One of the best lip glosses ever created. They feel like a balm when you put them on. They're so soft, hydrating, comfortable, just incredible. And I love the Tower 28 Gloss in Coconut. Just so comfortable. Nice, like, plushy, almost like that gel feel formula. Great. Amazing. Can't go wrong. Okay, so let's do a little recap. Here's what we're getting rid of. Let me dump it out so you can really get the full effect. That's everything that we're getting rid of. I feel like, I feel like we did pretty good, right? Do you think? Better than I thought, but not as good as I was hoping for. There you go. And I just still have piles of stuff everywhere. Yep. So, um, thank you guys for helping me declutter. This probably will be the last declutter I do for a while. Unless you guys want more, let me know. I love filming them because I love kind of getting rid of stuff. Um, so if you want me to declutter more, there's always stuff for me to go through. Um, thank you guys. I love you so much. I know we've been here a while, so I'm just going to get the freak out of here. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Goodbye. You never call me the way you say, Oh my god, those stain my
my hand. Oh crap. Crappy crap <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, I thought my glasses were a spider. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wait, am I sure that wasn't a spider? Oh my god, that scared me. You know how scared I am of freaking spiders and my beauty room's in a basement. I mean a finished basement, but it's still a basement. I don't know what I'm doing. I just want to keep everything. Oh, my back hurts. Do you think I could do a quick back crack before we continue on? Oh, how do I crack my back? I don't know. Ow, that didn't work. Ow, that didn't work either. <laughs> what hurts? Braid. Ow! Does Lord Mercy make a bag? It was the closest thing. It was just a little guy. I know I feel bad that I killed him. Oh man. and just put me in the coffin. Mm. Mm. Why do I look like that? Mm. Let's focus on the lips and not this. Ooh. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a good day. Try to crack my back. Have a good day. It's a good day. Oh, something cracked, but it wasn't my back. <sighs> oh my god, it's a good day to go to a fucking chiropractor. Shank. 